we have a segment on this show where we talk about our guests hometown and today monique Moreau is joining us originally from red deer alberta canada yep <laughs> hell yeah so i've been to alberta but i've oh, only yeah? i've only ever been to i, w- we w- I went to waterton lakes uh, oh, that's why i wore, I wore my, gla- my glacier damn, uh, i love waterton t-shirt yeah. yeah and when i was there my uh, i was there on the last week of summer it was like the last week of september and it was already like a little bit of flurries of snow oh, kind of wow. coming in and i was there and they have that old hotel i think it's called like the saint anne or the queen anne or something like that yeah um, one of those it's a queen something it's, yeah i the, forget which one the queen something hotel and i realized when i was there that the book and later movie the shining would have been written no matter what because the creepiness of a hotel on the last week when everybody's leaving half the crew is australian and so they're just like yeah you know there's not going to be anybody out here for like six months <laughs> and yeah. you know, they bought up the hotel all alone only accessible by a snowmobile and you're like okay man so it was just very much like fall of rome kind of feeling people yeah. like tossing mattresses out the window and getting the fuck out but that's my one alberta experience it was it was beautiful but i uh, didn't venture up uh, quite as far to uh where you're from which is red deer yeah it's right between edmonton and calgary directly in between yeah right in the middle yeah and it's just like i didn't realize until my husband visited me like we visited my family together Uh uh-huh and i didn't realize that it was a shithole until he looked around and he was like this place sucks like, i grew up here and i was like i thought it was pretty nice and then he's like look at it uh, and then there's just like cookie cutter homes and a couple malls and like four Walmarts for no reason. Yeah. It's like a hundred thousand people. There's like four <laughs> Walmarts. <laughs> it's funny in the small the smaller the city, the more people complain about the Walmart being too busy. Oh yeah. So yeah. I, I could see that a town of that size is like we of course we need four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you seen how long the lines are yeah. the other three? <laughs> hey, we, we got we got four where I'm from now. <laughs> two two full size and two neighborhoods. Damn. Damn. Mom loves the neighborhood. It's right around the corner. Mm. no That's lines that is her main what's the thing. general aesthetic of red deer is, is there any sort of like creative arti- architecture or anything um, with the buildings anything weird painted on the walls there's like uh architect i forget what his name was but he made a lot of really weird brick buildings like he made a church that i grew up going to uh saint mary's parish that was like supposed to be built in the shape of a buffalo but doesn't look like it. <laughs> it was inspired by the that's, idea of a buffalo. Yeah. That's like a kid with a Lego set. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Like, I think I'll build a buffalo <laughs> church today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they that same architect built the art center from the college, the, local college. And which is just shaped like a regular building. Or? <laughs> was, I heard the concept was that it was supposed to be like a train on the horizon. <laughs> this guy's stoned. There's a lot yeah. of concepts. This guy's way stoned. <laughs> general concepts for buildings. Yeah. Hey, uh, can you make this building? Yeah, man. It's going to be sad. Yeah. He's like, I always wanted to what? build a train, actually. <laughs> actually, yeah. I just build a train? <laughs> it's supposed to be a building. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then there are all these things that they call ghosts and they're uh yes. just like like statues of people who have been who have died yeah who had yeah. influence on the, red deer the town so, yeah i i so wanted just, to i wanted to whoa. mention one are of they the ghosts. full size they're, yeah, they're full size. are they're they like, still making them for new dead people or what yeah. is it yeah. oh holy shit they yeah. yeah they're still adding on to it and it's all like the founders of the town and like the red deer i looked some of this up is whoa. it's uh you know uh, in a very cliche way for canada home to a shit ton of speed skaters figure skaters and hockey players like and like <laughs> skiers yeah like olympians lots of olympians lots of gold medals coming out of red deer <laughs> yeah. which which does you know kind of indicate that it's like ah, i guess there's you know probably not a whole lot to do it's the you know yeah. it's, everybody just gets real good at sports which is the same as my town you know mm-hmm. one of those uh one of those figures i found i did want to uh, shout out because it was hilarious uh there is a a famous beaver uh, oh yeah <laughs> do you do you want to tell the people about Nick? i don't really know that much about the beaver i feel like that happened after i left so, but it oh was it like went a- up and wait well the, the statue probably happened before uh, after you yeah. left the beaver itself was uh from the 30s apparently. Oh, okay uh there <laughs> was like teddy roosevelt smoking a cigar that's it's, what I want the statue it, to be. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's oh, making a building that looks yeah. just like that. Yeah, yeah, wearing yeah. glasses. Yeah, this building is shaped like Teddy Roosevelt. Um, no, it's uh, yeah, so 
yeah, apparently a, a young girl was in uh, Waskasu Park mm-hmm. and found a beaver that I guess had been like injured. Uh, and it was like a very tiny, you know, uh, juvenile and it had been injured by like, you know, hunting dogs or something and fucked it up. And so she like adopted this beaver and her name was Doris Forbes. And now they have a statue of her and Mickey. She named the beaver <laughs> Mickey. And uh, apparently the story got out in the newspaper And in 1939, 20,000 people came to see this little girl and the beaver. Wow. (laughs) Which is like, wow, uh, do what? Just hanging out. <laughs> just, it, was, it was just crazy that a beaver had yeah, befriended, had a, person. befriended a person. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's always my favorite thing about reading history. After a certain point, we're just like, boy, everything was so boring. People were like, well, we got to see this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's a child and she's she's befriended a beaver. There's a child down the street who befriended a beaver. Come, quick. <laughs> Call everybody. Yeah, that's yeah. Fast and Furious uh, now. That's yeah, yeah exactly. Thing. It is. It, it totally Everyone is. knows it's stupid, but yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, it'd be funny if you were like the second kid that found a beaver and you were just like, like yeah. your beaver flopped. You right. know? <laughs> yeah, there's some kid who had a beaver. Too many fine. multiverse movies, too many beavers. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> I'm bored. Uh, apparently, the beaver would make dams out of slippers in their house. Oh, which is really what cute. a cute beaver. Uh, this is just beaver rules. And uh, <laughs> the family trained him to stop gnawing all the furniture because that was an issue. Dude. And when Doris yeah. Forbes, <laughs> when Doris was sick, uh, Mickey would go to her bedroom to visit every day, and the beaver caught whooping cough from he the would child. Go to visit. Oh. He'd bring a book. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come in the morning, and and, have some tea. And then every article I read said, and and this was like. The town website said this. Every fucking article was like, and the beaver even starred in a Hollywood movie. And there is no additional information. (laughs) Damn it. There's a lot of movies getting made in Hollywood. I think think Doris made that shit up. Oh, my God. She was like, yeah, the beaver, we just got back from L.A. I mean, this is in 1939. 39. Somebody showed up with, like, a camera you have to crank. 100%. Yeah, yeah. And shot some, like, no audio footage. (laughs) Just a girl playing with the beaver. (laughs) And it it got burnt in a fire. <laughs> yeah. That's probably the tinder used to start the fire yeah. outside this building yesterday. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that park where she found the beaver, I guess, runs through the entire the entire city, basically. So they call it Park City, or at least oh, uh, yeah, there, some places. There's that a I lot saw. of trails. When I was growing up, the trails were fine, and now I'm like kind of scared. Oh, <laughs> word. <laughs> it's just like methed out people on yeah. the trails. And then people riding their bikes really fast. Yeah. So I'm just like I'm not doing the trails. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, I looked up some uh, some recent headlines uh, oh from from Red Deer. That's funny because they always say that like Alberta is the Texas of Canada because of the oil industry and all mm-hmm. that stuff. And I was reading the headlines and Canadian newspapers are just so quaint compared to ours all the time. And I'm just like, man, this is not dude. Texas is insane compared to this. But I did find one that was very American. Uh, but yeah, like someone stole a bag of soil from someone's front yard. <laughs> tisk tisk. <laughs> a bag of soil. Yeah, was like, <laughs> they didn't like steal like, dirt uh, from their actual yard. Yeah, They're like, yeah, I'm just no. going to take that bag. Yeah, the guy was just like, yeah, yeah. It. I set down to miracle grow soil yeah. for a few minutes and the guy, a fellow just ran off with it. Yeah, good neighborly <laughs> robbery. <laughs> yeah. Um, the crop report, apparently. Uh, <laughs> the crop report. Uh, seeding in the province is now essentially 100% complete with the exception exception of a handful of acres designated for feed crops. Wow. This is front page news. <laughs> a. Yeah. We planted all the seeds. The last time I looked at it, it was like this picture of this guy and they're like big Hollywood dreams. And it's like this red guy from Red Deer and he works at Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> He's Skipper Dan. He took a chance yeah. on himself. <laughs> He's Skipper Dan. To be yeah. Yeah. A <laughs> at a theme park. That's uh, funny. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That rules. Well, that this is like almost like a, a tale of two tropes because you've got the guy who's who left town to chase his dreams. And then you've got this guy. Uh, there's a guy in town. And this is again is in the newspaper. It's a guy named Evan Bedford, and he drives a 2002 Mazda Miata, and it's covered in postage stamps. Woo! <laughs> That's on the fucking Man. paper. That's right. <laughs> and he's like, it's a whole article about yeah. him. Okay. This is like the little girl, <laughs> the little girl on the beaver. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Today. And this is just the cultural brand. They're still yeah. murderers and perverts, well, that's, correct? Yeah. That's, yeah. What, okay. that's the thing. We're just you, not printing it. Got you, it. You mentioned it's like kind of methy and like <laughs> you could sort of, because I was reading like the Facebook groups and stuff and that's all they're talking about. It's just like it's yeah. terror. <laughs> and like, then beaver shit it's a lie. <laughs> and the actual newspaper is just like, oh, all these plants are growing. They're yeah. supposed to be growing, and they're uh-huh. growing. Yep. And then meanwhile, it's just, ah! <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah. My uh, parents, their car windows get smashed all the time. 
Human beings are yeah. still fucking animals, of course. Yeah, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter what. Yeah, they're like we're scared in this town now. <laughs> they, said they don't want to leave. Yeah, they would never leave. <laughs> uh, apparently, in uh, 2016, a guy. This is the most just Canadian shit ever. In 2016, a guy saved his husky puppy from a cougar by punching it in the face in the parking lot of a Tim Hortons on Boxing Day. Fuck yeah, yeah. Ooh, Boxing ooh. Day. That's so Canadian. It's just it's like Happy <laughs> Boxing Day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then right in the face. fucking. T- Tom Sawyer by Rush, just immediately. <laughs> yeah. One line, uh, and then uh, and then I was like, "This is, this is not that uh, methy." A 44 year old man named Jason Locke crashed into a house in a Jeep Grand Cherokee filled with meth, coke, and fentanyl, and tried to make a getaway on a tractor. I was like, "Now we're in Texas." Woo. Yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff. That's the way you do it, America. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah there's like this happened. The guy lived in Red Deer, but it happened outside of Red Deer. A guy sent a letter bomb to a woman, and she died. This was like the biggest thing that happened in oh. my hometown. Yeah, Whoa. and it happened to me. My brother's ex girlfriend's dad, who sent the letter bomb. Oh, Jesus. Like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> everyone's connected to everyone somehow. And yeah, in yeah. our town, it's like everyone knows these people. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit! Damn, letter bombs, a real old school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you a lot bring them back. Anymore. Burning bushes and letter <laughs> bombs. <laughs> fucking <laughs> post. Postage prices are insane. Yeah, I'm right. surprised the Mi- Miata guy can afford to cover his car. <laughs> he can afford to cover his car. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get into the questions. First up, local legend. I don't know. It's probably that guy. <laughs> yeah, the letter bomber, yeah. the letter bomber, yeah. the mad bomber of Red yeah. Deer. <laughs> um, Katie Lang is also from just outside of Red Deer. Whoa! Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, Miss Chatelaine herself. Yeah, Fuck she's yeah. from like Red Deer County. Oh like my the god! Outside area. Ooh. Angel yeah. with a lariat, one of my absolute favorites. <sighs> she went Shit. to Red Deer College and didn't graduate, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> Does she ever like come back and perform and stuff like that? Or? Um, I think once or twice, but she also hates Red Deer. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I read an article where she was like, I hate my hometown. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, well. There's no statue of her amongst the ghosts. Yeah. yeah not yet. Well, she's not a ghost yet. One hopes that when it does happen, she will be portrayed as an angel with a lariat. Oh, I'm saying. Yeah. 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 yeah that's the way to go. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Well, that's perfect. Question two. Worst bar. There's one in a strip mall that I like going to because they have good wings. But it's like, they have what they call VLTs, which is like a casino style like slot machine. I don't know what uh, VLT stands for. I was I was oh. so ready for that to be veal lettuce and yeah. tomato sandwich. I was like, oh, <laughs> let's stop the podcast right <laughs> fucking now. <Yeah. laughs> um, <laughs> oh my God, I'm doing that. <laughs> but there's just like a bunch of people gambling like compulsively in there. Sure. And then there's like sports. It's a very MMA bar. <laughs> So oh, yeah. you go there and you just want wings. There's just like uh, 50 dudes screaming. Oh, wow. <laughs> and okay. Yeah, it's a, um, I forget what it's called. It's There's two bows. I think this is the bad bows. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's yeah. two bars called bows? Yeah. And this, then there used to be one called bows like, good bows? and then there was one called Bo Diddley's for a while. Lots of bows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, town ordinance for only allowed to name them Bo. That's the only name for the bar. Yeah, <laughs> that the any place with much like the condom machines, any bar that has the video poker and people just like compulsively yeah. slamming multiple machines can't be in there. Yeah, it's so <laughs> just emotionally bothersome to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the wings would have to be really good. They are. They're they're like the best wings <laughs> in the world. Oh, uh, hell yeah. <laughs> well, that, that leads into the next question. This might be it. Best local food. The wings are good. I think Canadian wings just in general are really good. What, what's different? Do they like... Do they... I think they're they're fried more oh, okay. than they, American they, ones. Like American well ones, done. you get them and they're like slimy sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Like, that just isn't a thing in Canada unless it's like a pizza place that delivers. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, right. Canada cooks the shit out of everything. That yeah. was the, the most shocking uh, thing the first time I went there was trying to order uh, you know, medium burger. And they're like, we don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> they get to everything. All, mm-hmm. all ground beef has to be well done. It's, you can get a you get a Mother you get a rare steak, <laughs> yeah. but uh, you can't, if it's a I burger, even see, if they're hand cr- sh- cranking it in front of you. You shouldn't eat ground uh, r- like raw meat. 
or yeah. like medium. You shouldn't. Well, that's Come like on. A, I get medium. You know, no, that's not some, okay. Need some juices <laughs> because it's not like a, the piece of meat has come together to make the inside pink. There's just like crushed up grounds <laughs> yeah. that aren't cooked in the Everybody middle. Nobody scares a shadow. Yeah, but I like the juicies. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's some place where they like make their own. You know, they're making their own burger in the back and shit like that. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah I, which is Ooh. nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to believe that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, if they lie to me about it, that's fine. Yeah. 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 Red Deer has a, well, Alberta has something called a donair, which is like a wrap. Um, it's like oh, a kebab oh, wrap, yeah, but it's oh, like oh, gotcha. a different kind of meat. Like only in Alberta, you get this like kind of shaved beef thing. Oh, I've heard of this. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, like, it's really good. It, Very that's, garlicky. <laughs> it's so funny. That's probably how it's pronounced, but I'm an idiot, so I've just been calling it a Donner kebab my entire life. Uh, well, in ca- <laughs> where I'm from, it's like D-O-N-A-I-R. So it's oh, like okay. Oh, like, okay. They don't gotcha. say D-O-N-E-R or whatever. Okay. But, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> it's it's <don't> French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They speak French up there. Is it French <laughs> or is it Greek? <laughs> uh, that's right. These Canada kids. <laughs> Lebanese, perhaps. <laughs> Question four. Local ghosts or monsters there is a lot in the 90s this might have been because of x-files but there are a lot of people who claim to have seen ufos yes. near or in red deer uh-huh. and so i got when i was a kid i was really obsessed with seeing one yeah <laughs> and i saw something weird one time but not like oh what was i was it? like that could have been it was just like a plane that or a, something flew weirdly in the sky like zigzag uh-huh. mm-hmm. okay I was like, that's probably a ufo but then later on i really c- as I grew older, I was like, did I really see that or did I want to? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. But yeah. there are a lot of people who would be like, you just hear someone saw a craft on like some farm. And then there was two instances where there were crop circles. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's my favorite bullshit thing yeah, from the 90s. <laughs> so they, were, they were really cool. I was like, these are whoever made those. Yeah. Like, they yeah. knew what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, they had aliens. <laughs> they had read in the crop report that they had seeded 100% of those fields. So they knew they were going to have some killer crop circles <laughs> yeah. come September. Uh, I, I looked this one up. Uh, there was a rash of UFO sightings uh, in 1947, a few weeks after Roswell. And I love this. Uh, according to an anonymous cryptozoologist on the internet, <laughs> <laughs> the, in 2018, there were four sightings of a gigantic deer that walked on two legs. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like kind of obsessed with that. I love, I just love the idea yeah. of a deer just being like, ah, morning, how are you? You know, <laughs> if you're going to, if you're going to say something like that and be anonymous, come on. I you got to, you got to stick by your crazy yeah, story. It was a big just, cow. Yeah. It was so huge. Yeah. What's your name on this? Well, that's the thing. It's like, respect your theory a little that's more. Like, that's the thing. It's like, if it's anonymous and there's one sighting, fine. But yeah. you can't be like, I kept seeing this four times and no one needs to know who who I am. <laughs> and that just seems uh, also, suspicious. In any place like, I guess, Texas or Alberta, where there's just like wild, like wide spread out areas, not a ton of lights around, <laughs> people just look at the sky, just hoping to see anything. Totally. Hoping for a dream or a prayer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just anything to get them out Take of Take me right? away from here, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, uh, food related. I read the, the Tim Hortons does not have good Yelp reviews over there. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, they they, everyone is pissed because apparently they spend all their time focusing on the cars and not the people inside the restaurants. Mm-hmm. And there's uh, apparently the, the the donut case there has some flies. Issues. Oh yeah, so just there's uh, like I think there's like five Tim Hortons. There have to oh be. is there? Yeah. Uh, this was this is the one on Yelp with like one and a half stars. <laughs> like, They're all bad. Yeah, I, every Tim Hortons is just a mess. Oh, everywhere, man. all over Canada. Yeah, and it's just like. Teenagers and people who don't speak English, bless their hearts, but they're <laughs> like, it's just like 15 year olds because that's how old you can work there. Yeah. And then, oh, and then like, too young. Yeah. <laughs> and then people who don't really speak English well, and then they come together and it's just a nightmare situation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like you just hear like teenagers screaming at like some poor immigrant. <laughs> You're like, this, is, oh. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, I no. don't believe yeah. the hype. Tim Hortons is one of those things I've never had, but people talk it up to an extent where there's no way it could live up to what I've been told it is. Yeah, yeah there's nothing special about it. It's just yeah, it's like had, a Dunkin' Donuts. I've had coffee. Yeah. I've had donuts. <laughs> I know the the ceiling for how yeah. good it's going to be. <laughs> can't, can't uh, you, you hadn't had Timbits, though. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Just a donut It's hole? donut holes. Yeah. yeah. Fuck <laughs> that place. <laughs> oh, man. I, anytime I'm in Canada, that's it's cliche as shit. That's the first thing I do. And I don't, I'm, I'm sure it is bad. And I just didn't notice because I'm just like, 
I'm in Canada. Mm-hmm. Got to got to hit the, the Tim uh, the Tim Hortons. I like their coffee. It's good. I don't know. It's probably it's somewhere in between Dunkin' and if we're speaking truthfully, it's somewhere in between Dunkin' and Krispy Kreme. I'll say that. <laughs> Dunkin' being the shittiest donuts <laughs> of all time. Rivers is taking this way too serious. He bought into you. the Tim Hortons type. I did. I can't, I did. I can't <laughs> let go. Hey, man. <laughs> Tim Hortons. Yeah, I said it. Dude, yeah. I'm doing, I'll take you to Big Jim's down the street. I'll At, get you a better cup okay. of joe. At, I'll get you an iced coffee so strong you won't want to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> At Slam Harder to our Canadian Canadian listeners, <laughs> fight him there. <laughs> and uh, last question: favorite thing that's not there anymore? They used to have two really good movie theaters, like downtown. Oh, nice! Or like more in the center of the city. Yeah. And now there's one huge movie theater, like outside of town. It's attached to the Walmart. <laughs> It's like it's actually next to the Costco. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like a Cineplex, like huge, like ten theaters kind of situation and then the other two downtown they just like demolished but they found out one of them for the entire time it had been open they had been dumping all the like grease from the popcorn into the sewers oh. <laughs> so then they couldn't even keep it open for anything they had to like demolish the whole oh thing oh my god <laughs> shit that's yeah. so bad <laughs> yeah I worked in a movie theater for a very long time when this... I was younger and that stuff is fucking sludge I mean it's yeah. Not, yeah. it's I don't know what the fuck it is but it's, it's, it's oil it's hydrogenated like, yeah. oil it's yeah. like if you let it build up and sit there and like we had to clean the popper and stuff clean these things all the time it will build up like something on your fucking car battery. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just gross. burnt It's literally burnt oil. Yeah. Like it literally right. burnt it's oil from your fucking engine. Yeah. Just a different kind. <laughs> just dump it. Dump yeah. it in the, in the sewers. That's, that's what I say. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, fantastic. If, if you've got one of those bio engines, you can literally put that shit in there. That's what yeah. Willie Nelson's tour bus runs on that shit. And weed, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I want to hang out with him and Snoop Dogg. I know. <laughs> People always say shit like that. The coolest, the coolest dude in the world is Khalifa, yeah, probably. This is actually a little Willie Nelson sidebar. So my dad's girlfriend is an amazing singer. And so she was a backup singer for his 90th birthday thing at the Hollywood Bowl. <laughs> I think so that's we got on to go. Netflix now, right? Yeah, it's on Netflix now. And so we it was so weird. It was hosted by fucking Helen Mirren. Ethan Hawke, and then who is the other? Owen Wilson, very weird hosting. Yeah. Oh, and Jennifer Lawrence was the other person. It was very strange. Or not Jennifer Lawrence, Jennifer Gardner. Whoa. Okay. So real quick, <laughs> it's very strange the way they kept oh, like, Owen Wilson. Helen Owen Wilson and Ethan Hawke at least yeah. have like the totally Richard Linklater yeah. kind of connection. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other two are baffling. Very strange. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was weird, but they didn't tell you it was going to be hosted, so just suddenly Ethan Hawke was on stage being like, man, Willie's put out so many great records from... <laughs> you're like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> well, oh, Ethan Hawke here. It was nuts. But anyway, so the second thing I was going to say is that so we were allowed to go to the VIP area afterwards, so I was like, oh, this is going to be crazy. Didn't it? And we get in there, and it's like, everyone who doesn't smoke weed who hangs out with Willie Nelson <laughs> is like just in a room being like, I don't know, my daughter's in the band or something. <laughs> you know, like, and you're like, this is insane. See very VIP, uh, and then the next day I see on Twitter is like all these red carpet photos of like uh, fucking Woody Harrelson and Margot Price and Willie, and they're all smoking this like seventeen foot long joint. Yeah, that's like, what the fuck was that joint. happening at? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I saw nothing of the sort. That's <laughs> another thing about moving into uh, to LA. You realize the VIP thing is often <laughs> just a ticket that sold. The real VIP <laughs> is, is a whole. Yeah. Oh, you can't even pay the. Yeah, yeah. you couldn't pay the amount of money. That would be needed. Right. Yes. Unless Smoke you're weed with <laughs> Willie Nelson. Yeah. He, well, he doesn't want that. He's like about to die. It totally. He doesn't <laughs> want to learn your totally. name. No, he does not want to know me. I understand. <laughs> I don't want to know me. He uh, won't even get a new guitar. <laughs> he doesn't want to make a new friend. <laughs> totally. But anyway, so that was that was amazing. But yeah, w- crazy. Yeah, Snoop Dogg was there, and everyone's like, yes! And he just <laughs> sat in a chair next to Willie Nelson and just like <laughs> sort of bopped around like I like weed. It's true. <laughs> I like weed. It was and cool being though. famous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was. It was. It was great though. I'm not cheating on it. It was fun. Well, uh, that is a tour of Monique Moreau's Red Deer, Alberta. <laughs>